Hey everybody, I'm the Crimson Cypher. Welcome back to more Let's Play Monster Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. In the last episode, we took care of the Eon Garuga that was in the uh, Alcala Caves. In this episode, we are going to see what the Elder has to say, but in doing the... Well, in taking care of that Eon Garuga, we were able to essentially get ourselves ways of getting upgrades for our... Uh, well... Some of our stuff. Also, this um, hammer can be upgraded. It needs popo materials, which we can't do yet. The Tetracabra Reaver can also be upgraded, but without certain other monsters that we'll hunt soon. But the bow can be upgraded. It is already level 2. Um, What about armor? No, okay. I forge weapons. I can make a hammer or a crowbow. What about okay? Crowbow is pretty six. I believe the demon helm bow is thirty. That's a bit more than usual. No, I believe the war hammer was like fifty-one. This is thirty-nine, so that's not as good. Armor, how's that? doing uh better than the tetracabra armor however i'm pretty sure i've maxed out its stats in that critical s and counter boost okay do i make it so that i literally have had both normal cut coup and blue cut coup and then young garuga nah i'm not going to do that but it looks like we've gone to the next uh, level of rarity in terms of armor and weapons. At least the next one we had to get to, which is yellow, which is, I believe, uh, a, num a third, like, free rarity, I'm pretty sure. Or rarity free. The Anjanaf stuff is rarity four, if I'm not mistaken. But you can see there's a commotion over here. Let's have a look see. Whoa, what's all the hubbub? Did something bad happen? Zealot, what's going on here? A monster has appeared very close to the village. So far, there haven't been any major injuries, but some of the children who went into the forest still aren't back yet. We don't have enough riders to send out to look for them. It's easy to get lost in the Windwood, even for adults. I'll go and bring them back. Time's a-wasting. What do you say we get this show on the road? Find those children. You return to Ruto to find the villagers panicked. Some children ventured into the forest and have still not returned. The Wyvarians fear that this is connected to the monsters seen prowling around near the village. You rush into the forest to find the children. Let's go. Uh, so let's go to Alcala Valley. Actually, no, the Highlands, I'm pretty sure it's close to. If we go there, we will be able to uh, take, well, get close to it at least, I think. Yes, it is. The Wenderwood is literally not far from us. Let's have a look see what's around. Also, be very cautious of uh, going around certain areas you are not familiar with. Just so you're aware, because there are certain monsters that can appear out of nowhere, like that one. And obviously... Go in here. There are some things that we can get uh, now that we've defeated the Yangaruga. Just like Viserios. We've got three kids to find. We better hurry and the little squirts must be getting scared. The children may be hiding from the monsters. We should check the tall grass. It's a good hiding place. Check the tall grass. I shouldn't... Well, we shouldn't do that, should we? I mean... There'll be wild monsters around here. Now, we have been to the Wenderwood before. If you guys remember, this was a place we went to a while back. Um, I believe in the same episode we got the Nagaguga egg. Um, but this isn't the place we got the Nagahuga egg, as long as I'm 
if my memory's correct. I'm going to go through this rare den, and I will cut away when I have gotten something out of it. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, and I'm back from that, uh, well, den. If we go, keep going forward. Let's grab some ores. Crimson coral. Pretty sure I mentioned that earlier. There is... Oh, that Jaggy almost ran into me and started a fight. Okay. I actually don't know where exactly all of them are. But I think... Hmm. I think one is this way. Tall grass is just up ahead. Ah, there we go. Here's one. Melvin, you came, and the human rider too. I thought I might never get home. <sighs> Don't worry, little one. You're safe now. Wait, weren't there supposed to be three lost kids and all? I got separated from the others. Last time we were together was by a huge tree. Uh, are you, they going to be alright? A huge tree. There's only one of those in the Wonderwood. We should check there next. Right. Well. Explore the area around a huge tree. We go up this way. Uh... I believe when we were here last, there was a tree that was quite big. If I can re remember where it was. <laughs> that Jackie keeps freaking running in front of me. Uh, that's a cabra. Some more Jaggies. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, okay. Avoid anything at all costs. We do not want to get into any fights. Believe me, you do not want to get into any fights. <sighs> Huge tree. This is quite a big tree, but not not big as another tree. Well, not as big as certain trees, but you know. Got some Azros. Um Tatsukabra. There is the giant tree. There it is. I can see the huge tree from here. Those kids are as good as found. Uh, if we grab this, I am here. Herbivore stimulant. So someone finally came to find me. Thanks for saving me. Awesome. Every Wait. We're still one short. Where's your friend? I lost track of him by the pond. He said he'd go call for help and ran off before I could catch up. Near the pond. I hope he hasn't run into any monsters. Oh, come on. Uh, back we go. Stealth mode activated. Uh, another red den. I'm, I'm tempted. Okay, I'm going to do this red den and I'll be right back. Okay, I've gone... Uh, the egg, I, well, I got an egg from that den, and I, as soon as I exited the den, I had to hit, um, stealth, because that Tetsukabra was right there. Anyways, the pond is literally right here. This is the pond, right? So where's the last kid? Well, the kid is right here. That does not sound like a kid at all. <laughs> okay. Looks like we found them all, buddy. I'm glad the children are all right. Thank you for your help, Ryder. Mew too, Owen. Ruto children get lost fairly often. Red used to help me look for them too. Wow, searching for lost children with Red, huh? I gotta say, you're a much more considerate guy than I thought, Owen. Now that reminds me. Huh? My papa once told me an unforgettable story of how he got lost in the forest, and how two people protected him. Hello? 
Any little lost felines here? Huh. Wonder where they got to. They sure are a handful. <gasps> hmm. There's a monster nearby. <gasps> Careful, it's an Arzuros. Looks agitated too. Not just that. I get the feeling there's something else. There's gotta be a reason it's all riled up. The fight! I get it. You were only trying to protect your kid. Don't worry. We're not here to hurt you. Phew! That was awfully close! <gasps> Aha! There you are! What have you been doing all this time? We just wanted to get a little honey. But that Arzuros got mad at us, and she's been on our tails for the last three days. Well, you didn't get hurt, so I guess all's well. Come on, let's get you home. Red, how could you tell the monster had a cub? Simple. I heard the monster's voice. The monster's voice? <laughs> you really are strange. <laughs> So Red could actually hear what monsters were saying? Sounds like my buddy's grandpa was a real character. Everybody get back. It's a monster. <laughs> Looks like we got a big fight on our hands. This is a Durambros. Durambros are quite heavy hitting with that tail of theirs. They can smash stuff with hammers and, well, a hammer like tail. And what's a mountain of a monster like that doing in a place like this? I'm just as surprised as you. We don't want the children getting hurt. We'll have to fight it. Well, it's going to be more power based. More than anything, so speed, Jinbu? Yeah. Charge, okay. So, great sword does not work. Or cutting weapons don't work, should I say. Okay. Let's go for a hammer. Usually when fighting uh, Durambros in main monster games, you do technically use hammer because Durambros is special in the fact that its tail can be broken by a hammer. N not just by a cutting weapon. Now, Alwyn, you suck. <laughs> I'm sorry. He does suck, to be honest. Alwyn is probably one of the worst uh, partners you can have in the game. I never mentioned it before because everyone... Everyone says Alwyn sucks. I wanted to see if he was as bad as people say. He is. There's a, such a better bow user partner that we have uh, that'll come up later on. But anyways, about Durambros. This thing, um, yeah, it's it's got a lot of HP. It's got heavy hitting. Uh, it's slow though, however. And to be honest... I'm surprised that this monster, out of all of the monsters in the game, you can't get a monster for this, uh, for Durambros, and that's really disappointing, because I really like Durambros. They could have given it a kinship skill where, you know, spun like a ballerina and for its hammer-like tail to break open the earth and, you know, create a massive, like, earthquakes and, like, stone spikes to come out of the ground, because that can happen. <laughs> Uh, monster stories fiction that is you know like it's you know and i feel like they could have made it a power monster they could have made it slow but like a lot of hp and a lot of like you know
good uh, attack and defense. I feel like they could have made it into one, and I'm surprised they didn't. But I guess not every monster can be a monster, which is disappointing. But hey, we can, uh, you know, we can um, only hope for the next game uh, in Monster Stories that we get a Durambaros monster. And I would like one because it is cool as a monster or a monster. It would be cool as a monster. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so now I was going for technical attacks. Uh, let's just skip Dark Crash, even though I love the animation for it. Let's go for technical, meaning it's... I mean, it's weak to... Uh, power. We go for uh, Royal Ludroth. Let's uh, go for the legs. Megaton Stomp. Or Megaton. I said Megaton as it was like a Transformer. <laughs> this ain't... It's a Decepticon in disguise. <laughs> Actually kind of fitting, because Megatron did turn into a T-Rex in Beast, uh, Beast Wars. I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, Drambros, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's not much to say about Drambros as a monster. It's... I mean, in this game, it's... You know, it's there. It's really not something you'd be excited to see. But, I get it. You know, not every monster can be a monster. And there are other mon uh, monsters that can't be monsters either, which suck. A lot of monsters... ...that I generally really like. Um, okay. Go for power. Giant spin. Oh, I'm, my hammer's not good against the... Uh, ...its legs. Okay. Giant spin. Oh, that hits hard. How's something that big even able to spin around like that? Proof, uh... ...physics. It's massive tail. Dramas are easily unbalanced. Aim for its legs and it'll come crashing down to Earth. So it looks like we need to aim for its legs, and if we go back to Nagakuga, we can do that. Because now it's no longer mad. Let's go into our great sword, because I think that's our next bet our best attack for its legs, or at least try to. Going for a piercing shot. Okay. Okay, let's take a bit of damage. Back is broken. Go for some more uh, speed attacks. Keep up this pace. Legs are uh, well broken, and it comes crashing down. Looks like Alan's using his writing skill. Five hundred and seventy-four critical. That's pretty cool. Okay, it's up. Wow. <laughs> All right. Got a dark crash again. Uh, we're not. We're coming up to the time limit, so that could be a problem. Ah, uh, we shouldn't be too bad though. So. Okay. Broke its tail. Our shot. Oh, um, Nagakuga, you do not have 
Oh boy. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Wow. Okay. Great. Now it's mad. It's gonna go for technical, so we'll let drop. For power. Okay, nice. Two hundred thirty eight, awesome. It doesn't seem like it's weak at this point. Like I said, the Rambros have a lot of HP, so they're gonna take a lot of hits for you to take it down. Two hundred forty seven. Aqua shot. Okay, and now it looks like it's weakened, or weaker than usual, so it looks like we're close. Get a few more hits in. Much of water. Okay, speed is down. Giant spin is gonna hurt. Ouch. But it's weaker. Okay, so when you break the legs, every time he uses giant spin, it will fall over. Allowing you to get some critical hits in. If we ride, let's do a double critical hit riding action kinship skill. Sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah, you know what I mean. How are you swimming in ice, Bloodroth? That make no sense. One thousand and eighty damage. Holy crap. Still kicking as well. Hundred and twenty eight. And it's down. Probably didn't take that much to second Jesus Christ's mouth. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's gonna be the biggest monster we've beat so far. The children's laughter will ring through the village once more. What a relief. Uh, the, that, that mouth is... That face is going to be the thumbnail of my video. Or this episode. I can already see it happening. <laughs> oh boy. Pretty good. Got some drum rose material. Some shell. Horn. And more horns. With a few more shells. You know, it's too bad. I can't hear monsters' voices like old Red could. You've got to work hard to learn your grandpa's tricks, buddy. Let's get these children back to the village. Next time on the Let's Play Monster Stories 2 Wings of Ruin, we'll be doing just that. See you guys then.